What's up everybody, a Sparrow with a Gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Dragon Quest Builders. Uh, when we left off in the last episode, we moved to Tantagil. Um, I hope I'm, I still hope I'm saying that right. And met this guy, whose name escapes me at the moment. And basically, uh, we need to craft a bucket, I think. Which, can I do that just with this stump? I can. Okay, so I need a huge horn and two broken branches. The broken branches I can do right here. Actually, let's go around and collect all of this so that we can actually get some health pots going. Um, there's my two branches. Kind of hoping there's just a horn laying around, but I feel like that would probably be a little too easy. I will say... I'm curious how this one works, because the first one was kind of about building, the second one was kind of about potions and healing items and poisons and things. Um, the third one was kind of about teamwork-ish, sort of. So I'm kind of curious as to how the fourth one here is going to line up with the rest of everything. Um, I'm wondering if Perhaps the quest marker is taking us to the the horn. Because we kind of have water next to us already. But this one seems to be very different in terms of, like, um, I don't know, the fact that it's, like, hard for... Hard for you to get food and crap. Um, okay, so I am where I need to be. The book is titled A Passage to Tantajo. I hope I'm saying that. I think I was saying that, right? Would you like to read? Sure. How many years have passed since I departed my hometown of Cantlin? I know not. But at long last, I, arrive, I have arrived in the land of Tantagil, which was once the capital of all Alephgard. Sadly, it is no more. Though I am yet far from Tantagil Castle, already the reek of death and despair is nigh unbearable. With the Dragonlord's castle just across the water, twould seem these lands have been the worst affected by the demon's curse. Tis a happy accident that this filter fountain escaped his unholy wrath. I can refill my flask and continue my journey. All around here is contaminated by the curse, but anyone with so much as a bucket may draw sweet clear water from about the fountain. Rumors tell that it was left here by a scholar who hoped to use its purifying powers to bring life back to this land. He dwelt in a hermitage to the north of this place, where he conducted research into the formulation of holy water. If thou who readest this message dost intend to rid this land of the curse, I bid thee investigate this scholar's abode. I, meanwhile, will continue on. Every breath I take of this ashy air is harder than the last. I may not have long remaining to reach my destination. So, Reginald Augustus Grainus, Kentlin Brigade of Guards. Okay, so I got a new quest marker that looks like it might be taking me back to... Uh-oh. Ow. Ow. At least these guys aren't terrible to kill. Eh. I'm kind of hoping one of them drops a horn, but I kind of doubt it since skeleton kind of doesn't really apply. I kind of want to take this fountain, though. Alright, we'll follow the quest. We'll see what happens. Usually there's a method to the madness. Oh, leave me alone. How did that guy aggro me when the guy next to him was closer and he didn't? That's just weird. That doesn't give me anything. Boom. Oh. Oh, okay. It's past that. Whoops. I'm kind of on the lookout for a, a huge horn, I'm assuming- Ah, there's one! There it is. It's those things. Got it. Ow. A little too close. 
Oh, come on. Alright. So, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, pretty sure I have everything I need for that. While we're out this far, though, we might as well go talk to this guy. See what he has to say. Come on, make your move. Ah, I got too close. Getting better. I won't say, that, you know, we've mentioned before that the combat isn't all the best in the game, in, in the world or anything like that, but that doesn't look ominously evil at all. Uh, but I must admit, I'm getting used to it. It's not that bad. There's a letter on top of the crate. It looks like it was written quite recently. I can't believe it. How unlucky can one man be? Just when I hear that the builders finally arrived and us humans are on the up again, I only end up getting swept out to sea and wash up here in this wasteland. I found a book near spring that said to go up north to find out how to make holy water, but there's nothing here. I'm going to use the last of my strength to climb up to the top of that hill and see what I can see. The message ends there. Uh, probably not a terrible idea to follow suit. Okay, so it said head north, climbing up the hill. Uh, right. We're probably supposed to go over there to do that, and to do that I probably need to get, um, whatchamacallit. Can I, uh, break this? Oh, it doesn't give me anything. Boo! Nothing gives me anything out here. What about this? Oh, it just gives me stick and cloth. That's no fun. I kind of want to break this banner. See what it gives me. Oh, I can't yet. Okay. Alrighty. Well, let's run like a crazy person back to our base then. Okay. Back at the base we are. Let's make ourselves a bucket. Okay. Now, it says... That remains absolutely empty. Scoop of water. Let's see. Material. Okay, so that's not really going to help me all that much. Um... Let's see. Can I get any of these blocks? I can. Right, well, I really only need two to make this a viable... Hoose. Where we can sleep. Now... I guess the next step is I've got to go up to that fountain again and get water. That's probably the next thing that we have to do then, I imagine. Let me talk to him, because the quest for him actually mentions holy water. Oh. Oh, okay. So I don't really actually have to worry about food at the moment, because he just keeps giving me food. That's awesome, actually. I mean, there's got to be a reason that we're supposed to be heading up here to get water. But... The, the part that confuses me a little bit is there's, like, water right next to us, so what's the difference? There really doesn't seem to be a difference. Maybe next to the fountain? Ah! I received a pure scoop of water. What is the difference there? Perfectly pure, crystal clear. Hmm. I mean, I don't really have a quest anymore, so I don't really know... I should probably talk to that guy again and actually listen to what he's saying, and he might tell me something about what I should do. Leave me alone. I don't want to do anything. 
If we could but revitalize this land. See, the quest looks like holy water. Come on, go away. Are you serious? Some of their aggro distances are crazy. Just back off. Okay, that part we got. It's fine. Stores hunger meters full. How goes thy duty? Hast thou discovered a method to restore life to this ruined land? The nearby spring might be a suitable place to begin the quest. Only source of pure water. If thou wishes, you know, I made the bucket. There is more to the spring than water alone. I also espied an interesting old book Look by the bank. Mayhaps it contains some information. Okay, so our only real quest then is to go north where we found the one guy that they're the book that said basically go further north okay so we're back up here on the hill in the north there's the little campsite area oh my gosh he's right here no reply it's just a corpse oh but there's something written in the ash next to him wall hollow <coughs> excuse me wall hollow hidden stairs Sparrow can't make out any of the message. That looks weird. So this is probably what he's talking about. Sparrow finds the hidden hermitage. Well, okay then. Ha <laughs> ha, you missed. Oh, I should have seen that coming. I wasn't sure if they were on or not. Okay, this isn't going to get confusing at all. Alright. That seems promising. Uh, let's take all of the stuff. Because that'll save me from having to make some of this stuff. Can I... Yeah, I can't break that. I was going to say, can I take the pillars? Ugh. Nope. Not going to burn me. A branch. Gee. You're so generous. Uh, there was one I wanted to check out behind this idol, actually. They thought I wouldn't see it. But I has an eye for treasure. Except that it's just cloth and crap. Um, alright. I don't exactly have a map here. So I'm not really sure where I'm supposed to go. Oh! Oh! There's an old faded letter on top of the crate. Several years have passed since I began my studies, and at long last I have almost achieved mine aims. I have all but discovered the wise by the wise by which holy water can be concocted. The very thing we need to banish the fiend's curse. But the monsters are no fools. Their attacks have been occurring more frequently of late. I must ne I must needs withdraw me to the innermost chamber and set traps to deny their assaults. Whatever might become of me, I cannot allow humanity's only hope to be lost forever. The message ends there. Then I would wager a guess and say we are on the correct path. Alright. So we were kind of on the right way before, anyway. I kind of figured, since, like, you know, this kept going and it didn't end, whereas I wasn't sure that the other way did. Uh, let's check. I'm just gonna tank it, I don't care. Ooh, hello. Sweet. Alright, 
right, so I'm pretty sure we're going this way. Oh! Well, hello, Mr. Dragon. Um, that couldn't possibly be in a more inconvenient location. Can I walk slow? Nope. Ouchie! Okay, so let's spin move. Okay, this isn't too bad. Eh, we got this. Dragon schmagen. Might be a dragon, but he ain't no smaug. Just saying. If a crazy kid looking guy in underwear and a stick can kill him, he's not much of a dragon, if you ask me. Ooh. What in the world? Let's read this first. An old and crumbled piece of paper is lying on the floor covered in faded writing. After umpteen years of painstaking exper experiments, I have finally come to a momentous realization. Without the power to build, I will never be able to produce the holy water I have spent my life researching. But my work hath not been for naught. Where I have failed, the legendary builder is destined to succeed. If by the grace of Rubus it is the builder who readeth this note, I hereby bequeath my magical altar to thee. Pray take it with thee, that it might serve a greater purpose. My time in this world will soon be at an end. Already I hear a dragon's dolorous roars. Sure. Fast approaching my doors. O oh, great mother Rubus, grant this accursed land thy blessing once more, I pray thee. Message ends there. The rest of the letter is signed beyond, er, singed beyond recognition. <laughs> Holy water, sheen salts, divine dagger. What? Blue temple tile brought... Um... I wanted to take the door. It's a cool door, man. Okay, so... What do I need for holy water? One pure water. A, sp a bottle of blessing water, which with purifying powers purifies the surrounding lands. A sanctified solution of cursed cleansing compounds banishes curses with holy water and silver. A silver throwing knife suffused with saintly sorcery inflicts damage, inflicts paralysis on undead monsters. Holy water and silver. So silver must be relatively prevalent here. Because there's a lot of recipes in that so far that are just like first tier and they still require a lot of silver. Well, that's kind of awesome. So let's get. Oh, it's nighttime, of course. Okay, so let's get back to the place so we can not be in the, the wasteland at night. Alrighty. Uh, tell you what, let's just go ahead and plunk that down. Make some holy water. Go talk to this guy. What sorcery is this? Why doth that water shine and sparkle so? I forgot, but I've been forgetting to do his voice. <clears throat> Tis holy water, thou sayest. Why, if one were to sprinkle holy water upon this unholy land, it might very well... Oh, my hero. My poor hero. What? Who? Oh, didst thou hear a voice just then? Or are my old ears playing tricks on me? Ah, so thou dost, didst hear it too. Oh, that was somebody else. Whoops. And thou warrantest it came from the statue? Could it be that that statue is no statue at all, but a human being frozen in stone? Hurry, Sparrow, to the statue. Maybe that holy water of thine might be of use. What? Like it won't be of use any other way, huh? Is that what you're trying to say? That what we're getting at. Yeah. 
Well, that's different. The princess. Where am I? Hath the spell been lifted? Nope. Art thou the one who did rouse me from my slumber? Nope. Let me look upon thy face. I swear if they make one crack about... How indomitable thine expression. How indomitable thine expression. How dignified thy features. Verily, I sense a great power within thee. Thank you. Just as I did when I first met someone I once knew. Uh, okay. Thou art the builder, art thou not? The one who is blessed with the power to create. When the Dragon Lord took power and stole the light from the sky, I thought that all hope was lost. And so I recited a charm and turned myself to stone. I know now I know not how many years have passed since that moment, but twould seem the Dragon Lord's reign of darkness continueth still. And yet now that thou art with us, hope has returned. For thou art the builder, the one blessed by benevolent Rubus herself to make Elfgard arise again. Sparrow, wheresoever thou journeyest, I shall follow. For the path that thou treadest will lead us back to the light. Okay. By the goddess, verily the statue hath come to life! This miracle is as a shining beacon of hope in this darkened domain. All that remains is to journey forth to the ruins of Tentajo Castle and bring about its rebirth in the same wise. If we can stay alive lo that long, Sparrow, I sense a great evil approaching. Oh, great. We're already doing a battle thing? You gotta be kidding me. Um... Oh, that's cool. I just didn't get my, uh... My seed of life there, because I don't have any room for it. Why can't I place that there? What? There. Get that out of the way. <laughs> I don't know why it wouldn't let me place it there. It's the floor. Alright, let's sleep. Get the... <laughs> oh, this is gonna be bad. I don't have any armor. I have a stick. Let's see, can I build any armor or anything? Oh, I can! Plain clothes. What's the difference? Defense 1, Defense 3. Why would I build the ragged ones? I guess they... Oh, they take more cloth, I guess. Okay. Sweet! No longer in my underwear. Alright. Sparrow, I am sore afeard. A great evil is approaching. It would seem the hated dragon lord, or else one of his unholy servants, hath taken heed of the princess's revival. The princess is a budding beacon of hope in these benighted lands. We must protect her at all costs. It would not do to face this battle unprepared. Tell me, Sparrow, art thou hungered? Then allow me to share a half part of the mists I have collected with thee. Come, Sparrow, pucker thy lips. You know, when you say it like that, dude, it kind of makes me not want to do that. How fairest thou now? Doth thy body brim with vim and vigor? Dude, you gave me, like, mist that's not gonna make me feel all rejuvenated. Then I beg thee, Sparrow, let not these marauding monsters snuff out Tantage's only hope. If e'er this land is to see the light again, we must make our way to Tantage Castle and ensure its revival. Gonna we have to ensure our survival before we ensure its survival. You know, just saying. Um, where are they exactly? Oh, there's one. Die. Well, that's useful. Just go hurting yourselves, why don't you? Eh, that wasn't that bad. Boom! Obtains a blue teleportal. The light, my eyes burn! I don't know what this is, so I'm not really sure what to make it sound like. Take thy light away! It's not needed here! 
This half of the world is mine! Oh, mine! Yeah, that needs some work. Um... <laughs> That's probably not gonna stay its voice. Whatever it is. It said this half, though, so it's probably one of the minions. A fine display, Sparrow. I never supposed thou wert capable of such fine deeds of arms. But why lookest thou so solemn? Such gravitas does not suit this happy occasion, nor thy face, for that matter. What? Thou didst hear a fearful voice from afar? There was nothing of the sort, I assure thee. Mayhap your mind is merely overstrained from the battle. After all, thou art the builder, not a warrior. Forgive me for asking us so much of thee. And yet, it seems thou hast been granted suitable reward for thine endeavors. That is a teleportal, is it not? On the morrow, I would bid you journey through the teleportal and seek out the ruins of Tentajo Castle. But as for today, thy work is done. My shack is but a meager place riddled with holes, but if you can repair them, it is yours to rest in. Why, thank you. A thousand thanks, Sparrow. Thou hast delivered me from the monsters. Pardon? Thou didst hear a strange voice drifting upon the wind? I cannot claim to have heard the same. If I had heard such a terrifying thing, I am certain I would remember it. Mayhap the day's exertions have frayed thy nerves somewhat. Why not rest for the moment? I am sure thou will be feel much better come the morrow. So they both said to sleep, which means I'm going to have some kind of vision or something when I sleep. Right? Maybe. Boom. Dragon Lord. Long have I awaited this moment. Come, take thy rightful place at my side. Do so, and I will grant unto thee dominion over half this world. What sayest thou? Wilt thou rule beside me? I feel like... Isn't, this, isn't that how the game started? Then let it be so. Yea, and to signify the peace between us, wilt thou offer up thy weapon unto me? Ah, the great blade. Hadst thou but trusted thine arm, such a weapon might well have brought thee victory. It matters not. Thou shalt receive thy just reward. This world shall be cleft in twain, and its blackest pits and dankest recesses rendered unto thee. Why would you want that? Give me, like, the utopian places. May the darkness engulf thee for all eternity. <laughs> okay, moving on. Sparrow, my child, why do you stir so in your sleep? Do you dream of the past once again? Mm. These painful memories are not your own, but those of a long-forgotten warrior. They were not meant for your eyes. Do not let these visions distract you from your duty. You need only fulfill the role entrusted to you that will be enough. Sparrow, do you remember what I told you when you first awoke from your slumber? You are not a hero. It is not for you to defeat the Dragon Lord. Hmm. Hmm. There's something fishy going on around here. Okay. So, I think we're out of time for this episode, but in the next episode, we're going to jump through the teleportal and head toward... Wait. Sparrow isn't ready to use that yet. Huh. Alright. Well, we'll tackle that in the next one, I guess. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace.